Okay, let's learn a little bit more about testing with Jest. Um, particularly, um, what I want to emphasize in here is that we should be testing one component at a time. Um, we should be using shallow about 98% of the time and mount about 2% of the time. I'll try to explain a little bit about the difference between shallow and mount, so that'll be one of the things we'll learn. We'll also dig into dive for just a second towards the end of the video, at least. I'm thinking we're headed that way. Um, I'm going to need this string, so I might as well oops, I might as well just copy it now while I can. It's not the right place to copy it from. OK. So let's go ahead and we'll open up the command prompt here. And what we'll do is we'll create React app and we'll call it Elf Just Video. And we'll go ahead and create that. And then over here we'll iterate into that directory because we'll want to be in there and that place and also we'll want to be there too and starting to get filled out let's go back and look yep we're through with the so we'll go ahead and do the same thing here we'll go into that area too and we'll do a yarn or npm it doesn't matter which one you use yarn start and um we'll go ahead and bring this up and we see we've got something that's working. So let's put it over here so that both of our command prompt and the browser are over here. Let's move over to the testing page and let's do a yarn test here on this guy and make sure that we have our tests up and running. Okay, then finally in terms of setup, let's come over here and open up in the source directory elf just video and we'll go ahead and we'll open that up and we'll open up the test here the first thing we might notice about the test is that it's mi missing a describe function here so we should describe it as elf so it's app test because we're going to be testing app in here and then let's go ahead and format it properly um, throughout this video I might use at times um, something called live templates and you can see I've defined a few of my own so if you're wondering sometimes how does code show up so quickly it's because I'm using live templates and you might think of adding them yourself so they can be useful. So putting the describe didn't break our test so that's still working. And let's now expect to find something. I want to say that I'm expecting to find um, an elf header inside of app. And of course, at first, that test fails because of a number of problems. The first one, it says shallow is not defined. So that's because we know that we need to... Oh, we didn't get what we wanted, did we? So that was back here where we had defined the statements we wanted to install Enzyme and Enzyme Adapter. And then up here, we also want to import them, right? So we want to import elf enzyme. So that will import configure shallow adapter and configure the adapter. OK, so now we'll come back to our tests. And they rerun. And it says it should find elf finder. And it received nothing but expected to find elf header which is what we've asked it to do the little code we inserted here says we want to get a shallow rendering of app and we 
expect to find in it the word elf header. Now let's go ahead and undo this comment. And now we can see what's actually in app. We've got a header section up here and we've got a paragraph section down here. So we don't like the paragraph section because it doesn't do anything for us. And so we'll get rid of it. And then we don't like the header because we want to create a class called elf header. Now, let's think about this for a sec. If we're going to, if we've decided we need to insert in here a class named elf header, the first thing we should do is have a test to see if that class exists. So let's go ahead and the first thing we might do is take app test, and there's any number of approaches to this, and copy it and paste it in, and we'll call it elf header.test and now in elf header.test which is right now just a copy of the previous test well even before I do that let's go back over here and for our test let's choose W to show everything we can do and one of the things we can do is filter by file name so let's filter by elf header.test.js and now you can see we've only got one test suite it's only the one that's in elf header test that we've got that's actually showing up so the first thing we might notice about it is that we want to change the name up here and obviously if we want to go after elf header then we should be going after elf header not app And then this whole test isn't relevant to us right now, so we'll get rid of it. And then when we save that, it still fails because it cannot find module elf header because it doesn't exist. So let's set this up and get that thing. We're expecting um, to be able to render elf header, and there is no elf header. So our next thing to do is to get this test to pass. So we're going to create a new JavaScript file and we'll call it elf header and then in here we'll go ahead and we'll create a little simple react object called um, elf header right and then in here we'll put a paragraph and we'll have it say elf header just to get ourselves started now that makes our test pass. Then we'll come over here and look at our output and that's not very pleasing. So we'll come back and we'll look back at app test and see where we are. See if that can help us describe what's going on. So we choose P again from the menu. We'll choose P and we'll filter by app which loads only one test and that's the app test. It's the one apt.test.js. And it's still failing. Now let's go look here for a second. Here's the debug information from it. And the first thing we might notice is that <clears throat> we have um, don't have a node called elf header. So let's go into app.js and see if we can load elf, elf header. And we want to load elf header from elf header. And then we want to load over here. That's not what we want. We want to load elf header. And now that makes our test pass because as we can see over here, we've got an elf header in here. And if we wanted to be a little more specific, we could come in here and show this console line also, which expects to find elf header. 
and it indeed does shows the debug for what we would find when we're looking for elf header, which is what we're doing here. So that all looks good to us. So we can comment these two guys out. Now, let's go back here for a second. I'm going to keep actually doing that debug statement. And let's move from app.js the header, which obviously doesn't belong here anymore. And let's put it in elf header. And we'll save this and we can see that there's a little bit of trouble here because we put it in the wrong place. So we'll try again. We'll get it inside the div. And now we have a test failing, but our code doesn't work either because we're missing logo. So let's go back to app.js, grab the logo that's no longer needed here, and come over to here and save it. And now we're getting it, but clearly we have a string in there that we no longer need called elf header. Or maybe, maybe we do need it. So we could come back here now to elf header and let's let's just move it down to a little make it a descriptive string as part of it and then so now elf header has this string elf header in it and let's see if we can test to prove to ourselves that we have that string so we're going to go elf expects to find child let's use this one here now Let's get rid of the, with Alt-1, let's get rid of the import statements, give ourselves a little more room. And then, oh, that didn't work quite right. So why don't I just delete the whole thing and let's try again with elf expects to find child. And this time let's type in elf header and we're saying we wanted a shallow reading of elf header and we're expecting to find the zero with child has the word elf header in it so let's look at this for a second and let's make sure we're looking at the right test the elf header test and it's failing and here we can see we are in fact creating a child which produces the string elf header, but it's not apparently the zero with child. So let's go for the first child. And then that one passed because here's the first child. And we can prove that to ourselves by getting the one at the first index. And that says elf header is the text of the child element here. It's finding this one and finding text. So we're testing this. Now, the point here is we're testing one component at a time. If we want to know what the content of elf header is, we come over here and run the test for it. Okay? We don't go and try to find the text for elf header in this test. Now you might say to me, and let's go back and look then, if we're going to look at this other test, let's go back to the app test. And there's one test suite, and they both pass. But let's look for a second. Right now, here's the debug information for, for the shallow look at app. Let's stop doing a shallow look, and let's do mount instead. And then this will show not only the component that we're looking at, but also any components that are nested inside of it. So right now we see just that app has an elf header in it, but if we switch to mount, now we can see not just elf header, but the contents of the elf header. Okay? And all that's good and well, but it's not the right thing to do. We shouldn't be trying to test elf header while we're in the app test. Instead, 
just use shallow. This is one of the core rules of unit testing is that you test one object at a time and it gets to be the trickiest part of unit testing is to make sure that you're always testing one at a time and that the tests you're writing are appropriate to it. Here we can see that this test <clears throat> is indeed appropriate to here. Um, so now you've seen how to test our main component which is app and you've seen how to test the smaller component which is elf header. Okay, we always run this can we load the component and then we write specific tests to see if we can figure out what's going on inside any particular component. Okay.